Hello everybody, this is me 247 with my other video, and today I'm going to be giving you guys my 2020 NASCAR diecast haul from Christmas. Now I've been having an issue lately with my videos uploading with some sort of yellow tint, and I honestly couldn't tell you what the problem is. The only thing I think it is, is the fact that this phone has HDR. Now, I don't know if that's what the problem is, because since I've upgraded from my 10 to my 12 Pro, it's just... None of my videos have looked very good, so I just turned it off for this video. Hopefully this one uploads normally, and I apologize if you guys go to watch videos and they're not there, and, you know, so, whatever. We'll get back into what I made this video for. That is showing you guys everything I got from Christmas this year, uh, diecast-wise. So we're going to start out up here, and before I start this video, I also got the majority of these cars from Bench Racing Diecast, and my friend got the other ones from, I think, Circle B Diecast, so... If you guys are close to Bench Racing Diecast, definitely check that place out. It is amazing. There's no way else to put it. So many different cars. It's it's a diecast collector's dream. So, yeah. I'll get into it first up with this car right here. This is William Byron's 2019 Daytona Polo Award car. Now, I've been meaning to get this car for a while, and my friend just pulled the trigger for me. I just don't know why, but the Polo War cars are always just special to me with the race markings on them, but the car is just so clean, and that's what I like about them, because they've got, you know, the rivets and stuff, they've got the writing on the tires, and all of that fun stuff, yet they're still clean. And this is how I wish Lionel Racing would do every single die cast. Unfortunately, I don't think they plan on doing that anytime soon, but these are the details that just make a car look outstanding. Moving on to the second car I got from Christmas, that is William Byron's Exalta iRacing car. He won with this car in Bristol on the eNASCAR series. And I was planning on getting the Timmy Hill car, but can't really find one for a decent price anymore, so that'll have to wait. This car, I really wish he would have ran in person, or in real life, but hey, I guess there's always next year. Don't really have a whole much going on for the uh, tires or rims race marking wise. iRacing doesn't really have much of that. But yeah, very, very cool looking car. Next up, have this Joni Macek Trump 2020 car. This is Mike Harmon Racing's first die cast to get made. And I'm so glad that the goat of NASCAR finally gets his own NASCAR die cast made. Or his team's die cast made. I've been meaning to get this car for a while, and once I saw it in person, I finally pulled the trigger. I love the red, white, and blue and our American flag on here, and my car in racing really is a good underdog team to pull for. Next up, Kurt Busch's 2019 Kentucky race version diecast. And I've been meaning to get this car also for a while. I, I mean, all these cars I, I keep putting off, but Christmas came through. <laughs> This car was originally attached to a black plastic stand. Not like these. I actually don't mind those too much. The clear ones for the 124s because they do fit in my case. But it was attached to their stupid black stands. And it doesn't fit in the case at all. Um, unless you buy their Lionel Racing's upcoming crummy. May I add? Very crummy looking plexiglass cases. So that was... I'm not doing that. I figured I'm just going to take this thing off. And yeah. Couldn't be happier with this car. Can't go wrong with a matte black car. Kurt Busch's Kentucky win. Obviously a really cool car. Had to put it next to his brother's championship car. But I also got really excited on this car. So opened this thing up. Slid the box off. And there's a piece of confetti covering up the uh, one part of it. I think they made 1,082 of this car. I got DIN 1,001. Now, I didn't originally see the one um, for 1,000, but I was like, oh my gosh, did I really just get a door number and a DIN 1? But no, 1,000 and 1. Oh well, guess one can dream about getting that, but that'd be really cool. Anyway, move on to the next car I got from Christmas. That is Kevin Harvick's Darlington car. Now this car I got mostly because it's his 50th win, but the more I look at it, the more I like it. This Bush car... Not really my favorite Harvick scheme, but with the Your Face here, it's kind of a unique paint scheme. And we do have some decent race markings here from the wall. No Darlington stripe on his car, but you do have the start of one there. And it's just 
an overall really good looking raced version diecast without all the confetti and stuff. So there is that. And that's also the first race back since the whole quarantine. So that car is definitely a piece of 2020 NASCAR history. Moving on, we have Chase Elliott's 2020 Charlotte winner. This is the second cup race in the spring. And you know what? I do have the 2020 Coke 600 car um, ordered, and it's been out for shipping, or it's been shipping for well over a week now, and it's been sitting in the same uh, spot from USPS for what? I think maybe like four days now, so a little mad about that. I think they might have lost my car, but oh well, I guess you can't control that. So hopefully someday I'll have my Brad Keselowski Coke 600 car sitting right next to this thing. But this car, originally when I saw it, I didn't really like it. But seeing it in person, and it's a Chase Elliott win from his championship year, I figured it's a good car to have. And also, I don't have any race versions with the Honor and Remember tires. So, yeah, there's that. This thing also, the gold is just stunning on this car. And I'm going to try to get some reviews up of these cars. I haven't really been doing that many reviews lately, but I think this one deserves a review. Along with that one, too. I, I mean, all these cars do. And I guess I can move on. So next one is Joey Logano's Penzo car. This is his Las Vegas winner. And I like how this is a unique paint scheme for Penske Racing. Now, normally they run the designs with the scallops kind of like this. You know, they have the shell or auto trader. This one, they actually did a different paint scheme. And I mean, I don't like Logano by any means, but it's a sweet looking race car. Nobody can deny that. And it's just a nice car to have. The dirt on the front. Got some decent brake dust build up there. And the confetti, although I'm not a huge fan of confetti, it actually does match the car pretty well with the black and like orange, orangish yellow. And it's just, look at that front end. That's beautiful. So yeah, that's another great looking car. One last thing I have to add about the front end. It kind of looks like um, Trevor Bain's 2011 Daytona 500 car. That's to remind me of as soon as I saw it with the front end uh, markings like that. Next up, well, I guess this isn't really a Christmas ad. I got this, uh, like, end of November. This is Chase Elliott's iRacing truck. But it's a really nice-looking piece. Of course, this is his bounty hunter car. Or truck, rather. So I do have the Elliott Charlotte sweep. And then we can move down to the final car I got for Christmas. And this one is my absolute favorite. I will put a clip of the advertisement after this and check this thing out hey man what you got there i just got my action racing collectibles die cast in oh that's cool this is the coolest thing in my collection man mm, why's that yeah this thing has more than 180 parts this car comes with its own die cast identification number that i can register online and even create my own virtual garage but i'm gonna go show this thing off to get your action racing collectibles die cast visit the nascar.com superstore today rookie so, yeah, that's why I like this car. It's been in the advertisement, and I remember that ad, watching NASCAR on Sunday and seeing that, and I was like, that's a cool-looking car, but I could never really find one. But my friend on Plan B Sales Black Friday managed to snatch this thing, and it's an Elite. You can see the antenna right there. And it's also autographed. So, Senhouse's 40 Caboose car. I have just always wanted this car. Look at that glorious Elite detail there. Look at that. Man, oh man, this thing is gorgeous. They just don't make cars like this anymore. And I couldn't be happier to have this one in my collection. So if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, like this video, comment below what your favorite diecast was. And this has been Me247. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day. Bye.